Hey up everybody, I'm moving on to the next instalment of my steam driven water pump that I'm uh, building. So without any further ado then we'll crack on with this. If you can hear that humming in the background, that's my diesel heater. So that tells you one thing, doesn't it? It's not very warm, especially in my freezer chest that I work in. Uh, so then, I was going to do the cylinder and continue with that, I said in the last video, but I can't do that because I need to transfer the holes from the valve chest into the cylinder. So, I can't do the cylinder. Then if you read up on the drawing for the valve chest, it says you need item 14 to transfer the holes into the valve chest ends. So here's item 14 and looking on the other drawing it says that the covers and there's two of them. So I wanna you don't have to do it this way, you can you can make the parts however you however way you want to make them. But I'm just sticking with what the drawing says. So I'm going to leave the valve chest to one side for a moment and do these covers next. These two covers. So rather than cutting them from a bigger sheet of brass, I've had a rummage round my off cut drawer and I've found this little piece of brass here that's the correct thickness, a sixteenth. And I think I can just cut, I can just manage to cut the, these two items from that piece of brass. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm ready for drilling holes now. Uh, so there's two, four, six at 1.8 stroke number 50 drill, one in the centre at 2.7 stroke number 36 drill.
I think I'm ready for doing this valve chest now so uh, I've got to bring it to size on this this dimension across here this one's okay the hole in the center just wants trimming up a, fr a fraction and then uh, I'll get it marked out for the fixing holes and then we can have a look at all these holes that go into the ends and the sides Well that's a little bit more at Jigsaw completed, now I've got the end, the uh, covers made, I've got the valve chest to size, I'm ready for marking it out now and uh, getting these holes put in next and then uh, this can be transferred onto actual cylinder. So I think I'll continue with that in next part then. So if you found that useful, interesting etc etc Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.